Hey guys, James from the Research Revolution. This just in, at least 13 people reported dead in California tour bus semi-truck crash. Oh my gosh. Look at this picture. It was a tour bus and it collided with the semi-truck. A, hor a horrific crash Sunday morning in California left 13 people dead and dozens more injured after a tour bus collided with the semi-truck. The accident occurred this morning at 7, 7, uh, 517 in the westbound lanes of the 10 freeway at Indian Canyon and Desert Hot Springs area. The big rig driver hauling food products had only moderate injuries and police said he reported feeling a thump in the back, but that's all he really knew. The speed of the bus was so significant that when it hit the back of the big rig trailer, the trailer itself entered about 15 feet into the bus, California Patrol said, Highway Patrol said, during a Sunday afternoon news conference. So you can see there was a substantial impact. All 44 people on board the bus were believed to be adults who wouldn't say if officials expected the death roll to rise. By the grace of God, no one else will pass away, he said. The tour bus was identified as a 1996 USA holiday bus. The Los Angeles-based company typically ferries people from L.A. to nearby casinos. The bus driver, who also owns the company, has not been identified, was killed in the crash. Abe said the bus had been inspected in 2015. Uh, okay, so it's been inspected. Authorities have shut down the freeway. They're expected to reopen it today at 4 Survivors told authorities that all passengers aboard the bus were believed to be asleep at the time of the crash. Oh my god, that is horrifying. None of the passengers had been identified. However, Abel said the police had been in contact with consulates from Mexico, Australia, and Japan. No cause of the crash was immediately identified, but Abe said many modern buses had some kind of black box that might aid authorities. Any influence of drugs, alcohol, or driver fatigue had not been ruled out. Firefighters on the scene had to use ladders placed near the bus window to pull out victims. Took two hours. Let's look at this, guys. That is just horrible. Alright, guys. It's been James.